Hey guys, welcome back to Dive of 21.7.10 episode 14 with me, Gideon. So, last episode we uh, created eventually our little skybox block platform here. Um, and now what we're looking at doing is actually moving home. But guys, I've got to say, I spent quite a bit of time off camera. Um, I've even kind of try to replicate this in a creative world to kind of get an idea of what sort of build I want to be looking to do and I just even though we've gone through so much trouble to just get this I, I don't know I just don't think it's going to work uh, where we've got so many mods like um, you know we've got Thorncraft, Batania um, you know magic based mods, blood magic etc I just I don't know I just I couldn't think of um, a way of doing it really guys so I think what I'm going to be doing for the time being bearing in mind we are still very much early game and resources still isn't a, a big thing for us um, something I've been thinking of doing I mean I do like this area I, I was sat up here for a while I was looking around I tried a few different things uh, I just I don't know I where I had an idea of like a, a tier block structure um, on this platform I had the idea of a void world I mean I think if we had a void world um, it would be easier just it didn't seem to look right just you know this I mean it looks cool and that it's, 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 it's good but I don't know I just couldn't think of an idea so guys what we're going to do um, is I, I I've look I kept looking at this mountain this area here and I think what we're gonna do guys I've just come over here I've knocked a couple of trees down I've looked big looking at this bit and I think what we're gonna do we're gonna work um, to look to put our base here um, so we're gonna have like I, I'm gonna clear some of this out uh, we're gonna change this to some kind of I don't know a chisel block I've got the uh, We've obviously got the chisel mod installed. I've I've crafted the chisel and it's really easy. It's a stick and a iron ingot. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to do. We we're going to have kind of a, a in this mountain we we're, we're going to build our base. It's it's going to kind of be inside. It's going to be on top. Um, I keep looking at this bit here and this bit here, and I keep imagining two kind of big towers coming from here um, so yeah I, I think this is going to work probably a lot better um, yeah it seems really silly after all the trouble we've gone through for that but you know it's fine it's all uh, it's all gameplay which I love doing so what I'm going to do guys um, I'm going to do this off camera I'm just going to clear this area here um, and then I'm going to go through the slow process of uh, moving all of our stuff from our other world it's gonna take quite a bit of time I'm literally gonna to have to do it with a, a probably a diamond chest and a dolly here and move it over here so once we've done that guys we'll be right back okay guys so we're back I've spent quite a bit of time um, and we've kind of got started on it what I've done as we can see I've cleared the front area out and I've used these cobblestone chisel blocks uh, quite a nice effect, I quite like them. Um, I've used just two types, we may change it, I'm not sure, I do kind of like the way it looks, uh, just some basic wooden planks and I've used these carpenter wedge slopes and uh, stone just to create this slope effect going into the mountain, just to kind of try to blend it in a bit. Um, so yeah, quite like the way it looks and I've just tunneled a little bit in and I've dug this um, area out here that I think we're going to use as our main crafting area um, I do kind of I do quite like it uh, put this big sort of bay window in just so we can see out over the world um, so yeah that's looking quite good um, yeah like I said I just really wanted to kind of cut in just to show you what we've done so far and just to give you an idea but I do like the way it looks suddenly my imagination starting to go and I can start imagining what we're going to do this kind of central area uh, between the, the crafting room and the entrance um, I'm just kind of looking at it and I'm imagining uh, what we could do with it we could do kind of like a, a, a sort of extruding tower um, in this part it could go down a bit um, and up as high as we like um, 
kind of build it out of the mountain and you know we could put a tower you know a number of towers um out and it's kind of i like it it's looking quite good so okay guys so we're back um i've remarked our old home and moved everything into our new home um i've just dug this area out here and this is kind of just a storage area just for the time being lots of chests um it's a real mess and it's just filled up with kind of everything from our old base uh, i cleared everything from outside as well all the Britannia stuff um so yeah everything's now moved over so we're now in our new build um uh, we obviously need to get ourselves kind of set up really um not sure how we're going to do it yet I, I mean for this episode what i really want to be doing is getting our tinkers construct um area set up so i'm just going to dig this area um i want to leave enough room from this wall for anything we do um do it here no i'll stick to this side um so yeah just going to dig this area out now obviously tinkers construct on the new version um uh, current versions you used to have a kind of the the smeltery needed to be a, a five by five uh, zone um the new version of tinkers you can actually you can make the smeltery any kind of size you want you can do it anything from uh, one by one um five by seven anything you want it's kind of you, you're not limited um so yeah we're going to be doing that uh just uh, what i want to do is go across the width of the room um i'm not sure how deep we're going to want it um make it a bit taller yeah and yeah what i really want like i say i want it to go across the width of the room um because i want to kind of automate the smeltery I'll show you what we're going to do in a while uh, once we've got that set up um, do I want to go a bit deeper because I'll yeah let's go a bit deeper um, like I said I want quite a large smeltery we should have the resources to do it. I may need to smelt up some more um, some more grout uh, is this I want it about four deep three four deep um, we can go high as we like. I, I do want to go full height. Um, let's go get. Uh, let's just tidy this this up a bit. I mean, there's there's lots of kind of uh, decorative blocks um, that we'll do, but just to keep it tidy, I'm just going to keep it kind of stone for a minute, and then as we're going through uh, our episodes, we'll we'll tidy it up, use different blocks, make it look a bit better. Let's clear these. Like I said, I think I've, I've got um, what have we got forty. Seared bricks, probably going to need some more, but like I say, it's, uh, I'll just do a, a base platform at the minute just to kind of give you guys an idea of what I want to do just to automate the smeltery. Yeah, I thought we had some more seared bricks, but yeah, we're going to need, I, th I think we're definitely going to need to get some more, especially if we go in four, maybe five high. Um, so I, th I want to like I say I want it three, four deep, three four deep, four deep. Um, so if we just channel this out, I've got enough room to the sides to put the the tables that we need. Uh, let's go back one more. So if we could go too high, we've got enough to go up too high. Um, I think what we'll do, we'll put the smeltery, the, the controller in the middle. Um, 
then what I want to do is um, let me think how, how do I want to do this Yeah, I'm going to put the drains, the, the drains that I want to automate, I'm going to put onto the sides. And that still leaves enough room at the front for us to put the uh, the tank and the window that we've got. And still two two more blocks that we can put the additional drains in. But I think we'll just put blocks here for the minute. Uh, that should complete, yeah. So we've got, obviously it's only too high, we've got quite a large smelter already. Um, uh, we could go higher we could you know dig up through the ceiling if we want um, so yeah that's I think that's about right now what I want to do is put the we've got the drains we'll put the basin and the faucets in place um, Alright, so yeah, we can go. We'll go full height. I'll get some more grout, um, smelt it up, make them into bricks. We'll go full height, and that that will obviously double the size of the smelt we've got, which that should be plenty enough. Um, yeah, and I'm going to put additional um, additional faucets or drains, sorry, on those blocks. Uh, now what I want to do, we're going to need a redstone clock. Uh, is it in this pack? Uh, there it is. Yeah, a redstone clock from X Utilities. Now what this does, and it's very simple, stone redstone uh, and a redstone torch. And it base it's basically emit a redstone pulse. So let's get this crafted up real quick. Now I've got some sticks in there somewhere. Say so it's a real mess, guys. It's just absolutely everywhere. I've uh, done that the wrong way round. There you go. So that's a redstone clock. We're going to need two of them, but I'm just going to show you what we do. Um, now, like I say, it emits a redstone pulse. I think it's every five seconds. Um, now, I, I can't put it above it. Obviously, I, it should work there. It should emit the pulse um, one block below that would affect the faucet. Um, so, what we would have, as opposed to us sitting sat here um, spamming the faucet as such, it should emit emit the pulse. Trigger the faucet, and the force force it would go in to um, whatever is kind of underneath it, as such. Um, we need a hopper and a couple of chests. Britannia hopper, hopper upgrades. Um, not sure what that one is. Not use that. Pressed iron. I think we'll just go for the, uh, the the Minecraft hopper. Should have iron. Yeah. Yep. Got a stack of it. And just find some chests. Let's just craft some up quickly. And there we go. That's our hopper. There's another one there. Cool. So what we need to do, guys, we'll put the, the chest underneath. I need to get into this wall a bit. Because for the hopper to go into the chest, we need to aim it at the chest as we place it. Just like that. I uh, need a, a, a lever. Let's 
smelt some gold up just so I, get some gold smelted just so I can show you what exactly what we mean. Uh, do our leather. So now obviously a, a redstone lever would block the signal uh, stopping it so we can uh, obviously isolate it when we don't want it to run if we want to use uh, the manual drains as such. This should well there we go. Brilliant. So yeah, obviously as what happens is the um like I say, I think it's every five seconds it will emit the signal, it will trigger the faucet, the faucet will um turn the liquid into the ignit. Now that lever should isolate it. Um it's not. Does it need to be touching it? yeah there we go so we can isolate the uh, clock as we want um, and that's a really easy way of um, automating the the smeltering now these big buttons from open blocks I think they work just the same as um, normal buttons so yeah we won't worry about that so yeah we'll just set that level trigger the redstone signal and that will turn all that gold into ignits uh, we don't have to sit here and worry about doing that and obviously if we wanted we could do another clock put it onto this side and turn it into blocks as we needed or glass um, obviously if you, you can smelt up tinkers glass which is clear glass um, so yeah we can leave that to go we could like I say there's still plenty of room for us to build um, the smelt higher, which I th think we definitely want to do. Replace these two blocks with uh, two more drains for manual work. Now, this is where I'm going to put the uh, the tables that we need. If I can remember where I put them. They're here somewhere. There we go. Yeah, so we'll just get these set up. Uh, guys, I do apologise. I've still got this cold. I didn't want to kind of hold off playing the um, the episodes um, while it clears. I think I'm going to have it for a few days yet, but I've I've done my best to try to control the uh, the coughing, <laughs> etc. I've I've had it for so long now. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. I'd, you know, it's nice, easy automation. Yeah, really good. Um, now I think I've done this wrong, haven't I? I need the I need this in the middle. Yeah. So the part builder and the stencil table. Can access the pattern chest. No, the stencil table doesn't access it. Well, that's okay for now. I can um, I can tidy it up off camera. Uh, that's not a problem. Um, 
So yeah, I'll put that there. Yeah, so I'm quite happy with that, guys. Um, yeah, it's going to be quite. It's just a short episode, but yeah, I'm really happy with it, how it's going. This um, Sky Island, it, I, I like it. We may still use it. I mean, it's created by Britannia. We may use it for some Britannia stuff. Um, took quite a bit of work, obviously, to, for us to craft it. I don't want to waste it. Um, but you know, I mean, as far as outside areas go, we've got plenty of area around here. If there's anything we need to do outside, like farms or anything. Uh, it's quite a big mountain obviously there's plenty of room inside um, so yeah really pleased guys um, I think our big problem at the minute now really is storage we've, we've got these chests absolutely full of junk so now we've got our main crafting area set up we've got access to kind of a basic power supply courtesy of our endothermic pump and magmatic uh, dynamos that we've got crafted up we need to get that set up but what I think we'll do guys is for the next episode be looking at some uh, applied energistics it's a really cool mod um, it, it integrates really well with other mods as well so yeah I think we'll look to get that going for the next episode or get some stuff crafted up off camera um, I know the there's some changes in this version that I've not played with yet, so I need to just double check on that before I, you know, do some more derping. Uh, so I think that'll do us for this episode, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Um, any tips, tricks, or comments, leave in the comments section below. Um, if you have enjoyed it, don't forget to rate and subscribe. Until now and the next episode, guys. Take it easy.